Hey guys, my name's Kent. Today we're playing five new demos from Six Sense, the creators of the Razor Hydra and the Stem. Uh, these are kind of like sport demos. We've got baseball, we've got oh. mini golf, we've got shooting range, we've got archery, and we've got a generic lightsaber Jedi training simulator. So they primarily made these demos for the Six Cent STEM product, which is their new product coming to market. But they also made them backwards compatible with their Razor Hydra. I had to email them to get a link to down all these demos, and they all came in one package. All right, so I got my gun out of the holster. I could shoot shit. I close one eye to hit a target. It's easier if I close one eye and aim down the side anyways. The slide locks back when I'm out of bullets, which is pretty awesome. Then I gotta push a button to drop a clip, grab a new clip from my holster. Bam! And it just sucks it right up when I get it up in there. <laughs> okay, so... I'm not ready for gangster style yet. Alright, when you bring this hand up, you can change which hand you want to shoot from. And so it also changes which side your holster's on. It's pretty sweet, this little thing here. You just bring up your hand, look at it for a while, it brings up your hand selector button or your mode button. Their uh, model's pretty good at looking. I move around and it's like, it's like practically stepping for me. Not exactly stepping how I would step, but how I'm stepping, but uh, it's pretty good. The uh, the hands don't feel exactly in the right spot, but not too shabby for the Razor Hydra. When you put a clip in, the slide automatically slides forward. I don't think that would happen with the real pistol, but anyways, let's try mode 2. Start. Let the targets drop and move. You can sit here like all day and just do this. But what's cool is mode 3. I like mode 3 because you can actually, that's actually a game. Time trial. 30 seconds. You try to beat your high score in 30 seconds. Cool, I saw the slide back and I knew I had to reload. I like how it slides back when I pull the trigger like a real gun. What? Practice mode 1? I'm like, gosh, I'm doing so good. I think I already screwed up here. Drop the clip first before I can put a new clip in. Mode, mode. Okay, I guess, I guess I don't have to just start. Guess I don't have to push start for the time trial mode. Fifty on that, yeah! Whoa! <laughs> so I got four hundred. My high score is four seventy. Even remembers your high score from last time I played this. So that's pretty cool. I closed it and all that stuff, and and yeah. So you can also like duck, and then your guy kind of ducks. You can move around with the joysticks, and you can slide out and shoot. Bump out and shoot. Let's try it. You don't have to push start. I really don't know why the start button's there. <laughs> Alright, all right, so there it is, target range. Pretty cool. Missed. <laughs> uh oh. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Works better if you stay right in front of the hydra base. Now look at this. Little, I've got the hydras in my hand. You bring it close to the base, it shows up to help you know where how to put them on there. Doesn't quite fill in the right spot though. Mm, pretty close. So now let's go on to the next one. I didn't order a six-inch stem. 
almost did. I pre-ordered a HTC Vive. But thing about the Vive though is it doesn't have any sort of uh, waist trackers or feet trackers, and the six the six cent stem has got five trackers or I think up to actually ten trackers it could have. They're still working on it though. So this is pretty fun. Further back you pull the arrow, the, the further it's gonna go. Look at that, baby! Freaking Hawkeye. Cool. Oh yeah. Nice. If you push start, you can see the base, which is pretty cool. So the graphics aren't all that fantastic in this, but it works really good. Like you don't need a real high-end system to run them. So you could probably, which was where I think the 6 cent stem is going to shine because they're making it compatible with the Gear VR so you can have a completely wireless system. The fish is jumping in and out of the water. And I look away from the hydrant, it gets a little messed up. It works better if I use the joystick to turn it on. But they won't have that problem with the 6 cent stem because it has a lot bigger tracking radius and it's wireless. Whoa! What the <laughs> Freaking Hawkeye! Green arrow's got nothing on me, man! Oh, yeah! Oops. Oh, I can't hit that. I guess he does got something on me. I hit it! <laughs> you can pull the... Pull the string back without... I'm not aiming. Gotta aim down the arrow. No, get it. Watch. Oh! Look at those skills! Oh, I didn't get it. It's hard to like look cool while you're doing this, cause like it doesn't quite. It's not exactly one to one. I can't hardly see the bells with the flame in the way. Okay, now I got it. Now I got it. Come on, baby, blow. Woo! <laughs> it's really cool though. I mean, and the the uh, it's not really that laggy and the. The 6 cent stem is supposed to be even less laggy and better tracking and more one to one and wireless and use with your Gear VR. And I bet you they made these, made this compatible with the Gear VR. Well, they probably have it in their lab. They probably have it in their office working with the Gear VR, and that'd be awesome. I don't think you can switch hands. You can drop it with this button. <laughs> Just puts it back there. So, yeah, the, the thing back here. It's not going to shoot at me until I start up my light sword. Why am I using my left hand? I don't want that. Grab my left, right hand. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Doosh. 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 Come on. Oof. <laughs> So I don't think you can die in this either. I don't think it's really... You can get hit. I don't really think it does anything. You can dodge him. <laughs> I don't know. Let's try to get hit a whole bunch to see if I die. Where are you going? Yeah. He doesn't kill me. What, what color is this one? Ooh, blue. Goosh. Oh, I barely got that one out of the way. These buttons drop it. What, you're gonna keep shooting me, bro? Come in! Come in, come in, come in, come in!
missed it. Oh, oh, oh. I guess you can challenge yourself to try to block every one of them without getting hit. And then you'll know that you're a true Jedi Master. <laughs> I think I did it. Oh, jeez, he's good. But, oh, I think he got me with that one. Even though it didn't register. It was so close. Oh, he got me with that one? What? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty cool. Well, I guess these are your colors. You got red, blue, blood of green, and green. Alright, so you got the club. This is what the stem looks like right there. All the holes are over here. Drop a ball by using the. Oops, crap. That counts as a hit. Uh, they don't really have the logic worked out that well in this game, so you just can kind of play around. But I thought I could move that. I moved last time, so something's broke. Please don't tell me my, my hiders are broke again. I've had these demos for several months, but I've never, haven't tried it because I just couldn't figure out how to fix my razor hider, but I finally got it fixed. Okay, good. I can move around now. Okay, so drop a ball. Bam. What? What? So you can move over there, and uh, it really feels a lot like mini golf. <laughs> so it's about as fun as real mini golf, really. It really is. You wouldn't think it would be, but it actually it about is. All right, let's go for my 25-pointer now. Oh, overshot it big time. <laughs> oh, that looks good. Woo! Check out the crowd. <laughs> Dang, I can't believe I did that. Let's see if I can do it. So this, you don't have to chase your balls, but you can if you want to. <gasps> I think I got lucky. Oh, oh, oh my gosh! Two in a row! Last time I played this, I was not near that good. <laughs> Let's go for three. So I can do three. Oh, see, I missed that one. If you come really close to the old two, the crowd will be like, oh. So you can also go and chase your balls. <laughs> Here, see. Yeah, I'm a champion golf player. Woo! <laughs> so when I move my head, it's not really blurry or choppy, but for some reason when I move the stick in front of my face, it's kind of, the stick is, uh, I don't know, kind of choppy-ish. Like, probably the way it looks to you on the screen, that's how it looks to me in the Rift. Normally, stuff on the screen looks choppier, not as smooth as it does on the Rift, because on the screen you're seeing it at 30 frames a second, and in the Rift you're seeing it at 75 frames a second or more. So that's a pretty fun little game too, actually. All right, last one. This is a quick, like, try to get a home run game. So, woo, what's up, what's up, what's up? All right, so, walk up to the plate, grab the bat, tap the thing, oh, missed. It's pretty cool. This will only go off when you're looking at it. Oh, a whole seven feet. It counts. You don't want to hit grounders. It counts 57 feet. <laughs> you want to hit them up in the air. So I wasn't so good at this the first time I tried. <laughs> I 
took took some practice. <laughs> Unfortunately, I realized that it's really hard to hit a home run like swing like a bat. The best way to do it is to just go like this. See so how much further it goes. <laughs> just like whip it. <laughs> okay, that was practice. Now we're going to go into the game where they give you all those white balls up there. That's how many balls you get. And you try to get a home run. You try to get home runs. Oh, so close. See, they call that out. If you don't get a home run, it's out. Oh, that's going to be an out. It's going to be gone. Going, going. Oh, still didn't get it. Jeez. So those demos are a lot of fun. Um, I'm really excited to get my HTC Vive. So stay tuned for more gameplay using that. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye.